Okay, so now we're gonna move out to the lateral part of the foot. Covering these superficial intrinsic muscles of the foot is always good fun. Obviously, we've just covered some of the instep muscles here um, with the adductor hallus, and now we're moving out to the abductor gigi minimi. Now, this muscle attaches once again to the lateral aspect of our calcaneal, comes down all the way along here, and then basically attaches just on that proximal phalanx of the fifth toe. So we're looking in this little area here on the lateral part. So another important muscle has two trigger points in it. They love to refer to the base of that fifth met. So if you've got clients coming in with fifth met pain, then this is the muscle I'd be going to. So in terms of your client positioning, I probably find yet yeah, probably face down is going to be the best way to go about it <clears throat> because it's on the lateral aspect of the foot. So we're working only through this area here. We're not working down here and we're certainly not working through the center. We're going to position it so our direction of our stroke is going to be down through this way. So you want your clients to have their foot supported obviously by a pillow and at the same time a little bit of clearance off the end of the table as well because as you press down and work through this tissue you want to be able to have some give and you don't want the toes to go into flexion okay so very simple process here for us a little bit of cream once again for any of these muscles it's not a huge amount of cream preferably one that doesn't have too much slip as i've mentioned before so let's just get the area used to where we're going okay so we know that that's where our flexor digitorum brevis is the large one so we're not in that area there we peel off to the lateral there's the lateral surface of our calcaneal so we're going to come off there down here and then basically to that first joint right here where it ends two trigger points in this position here pretty easy to find will refer up as i said primarily to the base of your fifth met okay all right so i'm going to come down going to use thumb and obviously i'm going to use a bracing technique behind it as well so i can pick it up twice as we work down so just working along there once again you probably find there'll be a trigger point in and around about that area there. How's that there, Kath? Yep. And then if we come down a little bit further, maybe another finger width down, that's where the second trigger point is, okay? So two trigger points in that area there. As I said, refer to the fifth met. So just coming down, working through the tissue this way. If you want to use a broad approach, you've got a bigger foot, by all means you can. Once again, we can come in one side of our hand. We just have to make sure that lock it in position and then we're just gonna come down and make sure that we're picking up the outside of our wrist here and we're blending in just to that lateral adductor digiti minimi down through there. All right, so is that comfortable? Yeah. Yep. All right, so I'm using a broad approach, so you're not, once again, it's a fleshier muscle, so it's not like you're getting a lot of bony feedback with this, like there was with some of the other muscles. So the idea, and what you'll also find is that the tissue on the outside of your foot is a lot more tougher than the inside, and that's primarily because it obviously gets hit, comes into contact with a lot more, so it's, it's actually, it's used to that sort of pressure and contact and, and being, um, being bumped, whereas the instep is a little bit different, okay? So it's a lot more tougher skin, it's a lot more tougher and resilient tissue that we're working in that respect. So once again, give you a bit of an idea. If you've got any issues to think that you're not on it, just get, once again, get your clients just to try and wiggle their small toe or their toes, and you should find it, yep, that's it, they're moving underneath, like so. Okay, so just working down along the length of it. Not difficult, we're not having to 
negotiate nerves or anything in this area, like I said, it's pretty resilient. To, you, know, you can basically pick up the tissue in your fingers in a pincer grip almost all along there. So you can basically see there's the belly of a muscle coming down there. All right, so that's a ducta digiti minimi. Okay, so here's a ducta digiti minimi. Here's your close up here. So obviously lateral calcaneal. So it's coming down along through here. There's the first joint. Okay, so that is the area. Two trigger points in that area there. Come down, we can work either broad That respect, or we can come down and work thumb and obviously fingers behind it braced, okay, like so.